Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. This is our lecture number 14 of our free course ETAP. In this lecture, we will learn about induction motor dynamics. Before starting the lecture, I want to say that I will not uh, go in detail about the induction motor uh, construction, uh, working of the induction motor. I cannot go in detail. I will put a slight uh, brief introduction of our induction motor and then we will see what does the induction motor dynamics mean then we will see why we study the induction motor dynamics then after we will go for the laws of induction motor dynamics before starting the lecture i want to say that on this channel you can learn various electrical design softwares like etap dixel and power factory pv system dialex evo and autodix in addition to these electrical design softwares you can learn also various technical things related to the electrical design on this channel for interviews if you have to click the interviews i am constantly putting every day i am putting one objective on our telegram channel the link of the channel is given in my description you can join there and you can get these objectives which help you to create the interviews let us start the lecture what is induction motor induction motor is the alternative current electric motor which operates on the principle of electromagnetic induction it consists of two parts starter and rotor rotor is generally a scattered cage design starter winding is connected to the electrical supply which generates a rotating magnetic field the rotating magnetic field of the starter induces current in the rotor winding the induced current in the rotor winding produces its own magnetic field. The interaction of the starter magnetic field and the rotor's magnetic field produce torque, causing the rotor to turn at a speed less than the synchronous speed of the magnetic field. The difference in the speed of the rotating magnetic field, that is the synchronous speed of the starter, and the speed of the rotor is called the slip. Slip is expressed always in percentage of synchronous speed. Induction motors are commonly used because of simple design, low maintenance. These are found in pumps, compressors, fans, washing machine, HVAC systems. Induction motors are also called asynchronous motors. They are available in single phase and three phase. What is the induction motor dynamics? Induction motor dynamics refers to know how motor behaves or responds when you start it at load, remove load and change voltage or frequency. In simple words, think motor like a car engine. The dynamics are about what happens when you press the accelerator, hit brakes or carry heavy loads. So, induction motor dynamics is just a way to describe and understand all the moving parts forces inside the motor that make it work under different situations. Now, why we study the induction motor dynamics? The studying of induction motor dynamics is important because of below mentioned reasons. By understanding the motor dynamics, we can run the motor in a way that saves energy and reduces cost. By understanding the dynamics, we start and stop the motors more smoothly. Avoid running it harder than necessary. We can match the motor speed to work needed to do. Knowing how the motor reacts to the changes like change in load or power helps engineers to design system to control its speed and power smoothly. Understanding of the motor dynamics helps engineers to select the better motor for specific jobs like pumps or fans etc. In the next lecture, we will study about the laws of induction motor dynamics. Thank you.